around her hiss hiss. <laughs> Oh wow, okay, we're in the theater. It's all nice and dandy. Seeing Magic Mike. Alright, you about a magician named Magic Mike. So I a lot of girls here and there are no men. But that's okay. Magic Mike. Magic Mike. All yeah, right. it's about a magician. Let's see. Okay, okay, they on the stage. Okay. Okay, he gonna pull out okay. He's got a lot of assistance. That's strange. Yeah. Okay. I can I can see, you know, random uh, I don't get why they're they're taking Okay, you know, magicians yeah. sometimes get hot on the stage, you know. I don't know why they take it off. They get that, that it's hot. It seems a little maybe they're sweating. Maybe, okay, well they're All taking right. off more clothes. Okay. I don't know what I need to be to, be, to, to to do a magic trick. I'm not really yeah. sure. Um, why would why would you? Why, where's your pants? Did did he is it? Did he lose his pants? Did he? Did it? Yes, he is did. that? Is yes, that? He lost is, his pants. Uh, this is not about a magician. Hey y'all, this is Twisting. Yo, D Fresh. And we just got back from seeing the new Magic Mike movie. Now, first off, this movie is definitely geared towards the ladies. Yeah, you can't see. Oh, yeah, ladies. Definitely. It's not geared towards men at all. And I guess what I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, maybe if you want to see, you know, men naked, I don't, you know, I don't care about the sexual orientation if you just want to see men <laughs> naked. Maybe this movie is geared towards you. Um, having said that, I was expecting this movie to be based off true events, and you know, we joked about that, this saying, "What does that even mean?" Shocker. Well, I mean, when you say based off a uh, based off a true story, it means this story had a beginning, middle, and end. When you say based off true events, I mean that could be anything. Harry Potter could be roughly based <laughs> off true events. What does that even <laughs> mean? A wizard, a wizard in school. Well, I did too. Um, Unfortunately, I didn't. I didn't make the cut. They they had better. You know, tryouts. But anyway, um, it's this movie was it. I guess I had high expectations. I was assuming yeah. it was supposed to be a comedy slash drama. You know, with a little little sexy dance, like some romance or something, right? Maybe. And this movie's labeled as a comedy. Now, there's one major problem with that being labeled a comedy. It has to be funny. Yeah, you know, the rule of being a comedy is that at some point in time, I have to laugh, not. Yeah, not like every scene. You're like, oh. Oh. I almost fell asleep on this movie. And I've see, never I wanted before. to see it, and then I got there, and I was like, "Oh my god, it's still going." Yeah, and Th going. This movie is very long, <laughs> and I do not, I do not recommend anyone seeing it unless it is just for the dancing. Sorry. Um, this movie has the guy, ma the main guy, Magic Mike, played by Ch uh, Channing Tatum, which I'm not gonna say does a bad. I'm not saying there's bad acting. That's not even what I'm saying. It's more or less the plot and the script, the writing, everything about it was very yeah. poorly constructed. It seems to me that the whole focus of the movie is on the dancing. Now, the problem with that is, is that I can't take it serious as a movie right. if it's only about the dancing. And then, but then again, uh, we only got like what four or five <clears throat> dancing scenes, maybe. Right, and and even then, it's like if it is all about the dancing and all about the sex, then it, then you know what? Give some frontal nudity. Give some abstract give some weird sex I know things. can we see like a, a side view something something that that would that's more <clears throat> geared towards sexuality more sexual frustration more something. sexual heat romance something. passion something. Something. something something there was nothing there no basically think of this movie as okay sexy dancing okay okay guys trying to have an outside life okay there's a lot of drugs and then it ends. I just told yes. you the whole movie. Yes. I, no, no lie. He did. Um, he may have forgotten the dance scene, but he I, told you the whole movie. 
And that then that's sad that that's all it was. I was expecting this movie to come together to have some greater meaning about this guy who's struggling. They say he has bad credit. Why he got bad credit? I don't know. I watched the movie, but I still don't know. He creates this weird furniture. Did I have one scene where he creates furniture? No. We, we didn't see him actually constructing any of the furniture. We basically just saw the finished product and we saw like a portfolio of some pictures that he took. And it's like and then he's running multiple companies, multiple managers of all these things, and I only get to see two of them. Then yeah. he says multiple. I know that two can mean multiple, but you know what I mean. I, it, he makes it out to be that he's this great. Can person. we at least get the third one? Right, the third, fourth, fifth one. If you're that busy, you seem to have too much time to dance, party, have sex, and do drugs. So confused on where you're spending all this extra time running all this business. It seems like you're doing nothing. It seems Man. like he is a character. That is set up from for failure. It makes me wonder why you even took the time to create the movie if this character is for failure. And then in the movie, it doesn't even end with it coming together. And and no, it just ends. Yeah, it just abruptly stopped. <laughs> it's like he realized, you know what, dancing is not what I want to do. Yeah, and then there's like black screen. I couldn't ruin the movie for it because if you think about it, that's kind of where the movie was geared towards anyway. That you're thinking at some point. There's that, no spoiler alerts in this uh, review, I that, promise you. So it's kind of like if you see this movie, go for the dancing. If you're trying to find a movie that actually has some substance, stay away from this movie. This movie is not, I honestly say this is the worst movie I've seen thus far. It's worse than Dark Shadows because Dark Shadows actually had, had a plot. Had a plot. <laughs> It was a little boring at times, but they had plot. It was so sad to say, because Channing Tatum is such a, a a talented actor, and you know he actually came from exotic dancing. So I and he danced here. well. You got Channing Tatum who's dancing all all the sexy and gets her. <laughs> and then you got Matthew McConaughey who's just there. Well, no, Kevin Nash was the one that was just there. <laughs> He's a wrestler, people, yeah. and mm. he was acting is not his, his strong gosh. suit, nor is dancing. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. I have to say, I don't encourage anyone to see the movie unless it's for the dancing. I don't even feel like rating it. That's how I feel about the movie. I mean, but the dancing was good. Well, I will say that the dancing was good, whether they danced well or not. You get to see a lot of ass. Sorry, but you do. You see a lot of it. And you most see of Chan it is Chan Yeah, you see a lot of Channings. You By the end of this movie, you can probably <clears throat> tell the entire circumference of his butt. Mm -hmm. so, I think there's a nipple. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's a lot. So, I don't know what to really say about this, about this, but, you know, other than, you know, go for the dancing. We Don't just kind of had, we, we ran into a stream of bad movies lately, haven't so. we? <sighs> What's up, Hollywood? Get it together. Fix it. This is Twisting. Do fresh. Jackie Lane. Thank you. But I didn't do anything. Thank you again. Wait, wait, wait. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You can go now. Wasn't even sex. <laughs> you have no idea. I can <laughs>